amateur boxing now and consider this. Here are some stats for you. Between 1973 and 2006, 17 European championships took place. Eight were held in the Eastern Bloc. And at the 17 championships, boxers from England, Wales and Scotland managed to win just 16 medals and none of them were gold. In fact, I think there was only one finalist. In, now, in 2008, Luke Campbell, who we're going to hear from a bit later on, won gold. That was England's first gold since Frankie Taylor in Belgrade in 1961. Last year in Moscow, five boxers from the GB squad won medals. And this year in Ankara, Turkey, four won medals, including golds for Welsh duo Fred Evans and Andrew Selby. They are staggering achievements. Now, the man in charge of the GB squad, in fact, the man in charge of turning European glory into Olympic glory next year is Robert McCracken. I'm delighted to say that he joins me now. First of all, Rob, a fantastic trip to Turkey, or are you still thinking about some of the medals that got away? Yeah, it was fantastic, Steve. The return was brilliant. Two goals, silver and a bronze. <laughs> it's fabulous at any European Championships. But you're right, we could we could have had a, another gold or two with, with a bit more luck. Um, but really promising times for amateur boxing in Great Britain and, and boxing in general, really. I mean, that Fred Evans, he's only a 20-year-old kid, Fred Evans. I mean, he, he must have been... I, I know you've had him in your squad for a couple of years or so, but that's still a staggering result by, by that kid, isn't it? He was fantastic, and you know he had, he had a tough draw. He beat the Russian in the quarterfinal. He was fantastic out there. He did a bit of boxing, a bit, a bit of fighting, and he, and, he, and he showed he was really smart when he was tired. He had five bouts out there, very difficult over six or seven days, and he was fabulous. He really was. Now, and now I'm going to be speaking to Luke Campbell a bit later on. That decision, uh, his decision against the Turkish kid, was a was a tight one. Is that a nice way of putting no, it? No, no, no. It, 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 <laughs> generous way of putting it. Luke Campbell should have won the gold medal. Oh. Yeah, we was very we was very disappointed. Luke's won 20, 20 bouts on the spin going into that bout. Um, we thought he was really un unlucky. Um, it's part of amateur boxing. It's part of any boxing. Sometimes you don't get the rub of the green. But um, uh, really disappointing for Luke. But listen, he's, his form's tremendous mm. and he'll go to the World Championships and hopefully get the breaks there. He's, he's been fantastic for the last couple of years, Luke Campbell. Now, what about in the final stalker? He got a bit. Did he get slightly conned a little bit by the Irishman? Not in the result, but did the Irishman maybe kid him out of it a little bit? No, I, I think I think Tom got a bit flustered really yeah. because he came back and he should have been four. You know, he should have been well ahead after round sure. one. I think he landed hundred. I think he threw hundred fifty six punches <laughs> against thirty two coming his way, and we, you know, we thought he'd be four, three, four, five up at the end of round one, and he was, and he was level. Um, and I think you know it affected him a little bit, and he chased the bat and gave away points. Um, he'll learn from it. You got to be a, a bit more professional than that. But you know he's had two silvers at the Europeans in the last two championships. A, a phenomenal return from Tom. You think about Selby, Rob. He's only 22 years of age. You got two bronzes at the Europeans and now a gold. That's like the Russians used to do in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. It just shows you what happens if you keep going. The kid's sensational. Yeah, he was absolutely brilliant. To, to get a gold in his third Europeans, having already got two bronzes, was phenomenal. Um, box was a tournament for us. Um, him and Fred Evans being Welsh were absolutely fantastic. Uh, obviously, Tom Tom winning the silver for England. And it just and Charlie with the bronze. But it just shows you how well the team's gelling together. Yeah. And, he, and, he's, and he's great Britain, and it's great to see great Britain doing so well. Rob, one final thing for, from a London point of view. You took out big Anthony Joshua. Now, he's a novice. Let's not mince our words. He's a big game, strong novice. He had a couple of wins and then got beat in the third round. I mean, you must be fairly pleased with that for a big super heavyweight. We was absolutely delighted with Anthony. Uh, he's only been in a matter of weeks. Uh, if we'd have had him in for a few more months, he'd have been fitter and he'd have won the bronze medal. No doubt about it. He just ran out of gas in that third fight, which is absolutely great out there, and, and I'm sure he's one for the future. Listen, Rob, we'll speak to you before you go off to Baku and Azerbaijan. Robert McCracken, GB coach, thanks very much. Thanks, Steve. Cheers. Now,